We are live. That always reminds me of Let's Go Live, Maddie and Greg. Anybody out there watch it? Our family loves it for sure. In fact, they actually have an Oceans Week playlist that I will have linked in the description box because I think it would probably be really fun to do with this unit. All right. I mentioned in the community post and on Instagram that this was a brand new unit. They've had this unit for a long time. In fact, this is the unit that you can get for free as a free download. And they just updated it so that it has the student journals. And then you could, if you would get the free download, you could purchase the book pack separately. But I get the physical copy because I just, I like their beautiful physical copies and I like to use them. So let's hop into it and check it out. I have not done this unit, so I do not know how similar it is to the previous unit or not. I'm not even sure if the books are the same, to be honest, because it's just not one that we have gotten to yet. But these, I like having the vocab words bound in because I just put a little flag on there and then flip to it when it tells me to introduce a word. Have some science experiments. Okay. I care that it mentions at any point in the lesson, you may read one of the read alouds and this one recommends dive and explore cor coral reefs around the world for you. So that's fun. And if at any point you're wanting me to move quicker, there is a little settings icon in the bottom right hand corner that you can click on and then you can speed it up or slow it down, whatever you need to get through it quicker. I know usually when I edit it, I speed up the footage, but maybe you like it at this pace and maybe you prefer this the faster one. So I'm glad that that's an option for you. If you have done this unit before, would you let me know down in the comments if you're seeing it familiar or similar to what the old one was or if it's a whole new redesigned unit? I would love to know because at this point, the old one's not available on there anymore. Okay, let's check out. This is the three through six student journal. So this is the one for the younger children. And you can see here, it tells you which lesson it has. So it's missing a few. It's not, there isn't a page for three or seven. So you have in here what you will need for whatever writing or experiment, that writing that they need for whatever activity or experiment in the course. If you are finding this video to be helpful, I would really appreciate it if you would give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments, leave me a question. Let me know if you are excited for this unit. All of that engagement really helps out my channel and it helps YouTube know that this video is worth sharing with other families who are also looking for it, this course. Okay, oh, the older student journal. So this one contains all of the lesson extensions and this one has something for each lesson it looks like. So what you'll find in some units, there is quite a difference between the journals and in some units there's not. Here's the extension. This one looks pretty similar for both journals so far. And we've, with the lesson extensions, I get this journal regardless of the age of my children because I like to do the lesson extensions with them. And this one, so with this one, we have a words crossword and I believe what I saw in this one was a word search. Yep, so there's a way to show you the difference. It's just the difference in level of what I feel is appropriate for those ages. We really enjoy the lesson extensions because we like getting that extra deep dive. So I do it family style with my whole family. We just do it at, either at the end of the lesson or depending on the day, if the lesson took us a little longer, we'll just do it the next day that we come back to it for the lesson that day. Oh, seahorses, see, you don't wanna miss out on that. That'll be fun. All right, let's look at the book pack. 
So these are the books that come in the book pack. And then it told us in the course book to read this one for a specific lesson. I really like to get the books because I like all of the colorful pictures and the extra information that it shares with us. It's like a little field trip in this one with the coral reefs around the world. You just get to go on little mini field trips to check them out. Make sure I don't miss a page. Oh, just like that. Let's go back to that. Dangerous sea creatures. That's going to be, I don't know. I guess it could be fun. It could be kind of scary for the kids. I like to do these flip throughs for you guys because I am personally a shopper that likes to know everything that I'm getting before I purchase it. So I love being able to get my hands on it and see it. Not being I buy a store, I appreciate flip throughs. So I figured since I have a good familiarity with the good and the beautiful and I trust the things that they release, I figured I would jump on and share it with you guys so that you have a sense of what you're getting when you purchase it. This is the book that is for the older kids, but I like where it has Explore the Ocean Floor. I like to just get it anyway and read it with my kiddos. And then I will use this one typically as a the read aloud for the unit. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them down in the comment box. I love being a part of your homeschool journey and I am honored to be able to answer any questions. And if you made it this far and you're loving homeschool content, especially curriculum flip throughs, consider subscribing and checking out the other videos that we have on our channel. We also have some food videos and things because we talk about all things family. We like to share what works for us as we strive to encourage you on your journey in life and family. All right, so I don't see anybody here. So I'm just gonna thank you all for coming. And if, again, if you have any questions, they're dropped in there. Any links you might need are in the description box. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.